Hello fellow metalheads! Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the world of audio production of exhilarating riffs and yeah, nobody talks like that. But if I type in, hey, write a script for me in a chat GBT for YouTube, that's what it sounds like. And now we have to worry about artificial intelligence in all aspects of the music industry. So what do we really do? I'm not sure how I feel about this, so I kind of wanted to ask Howard Benson a few questions about it, and he graciously offered to answer any of the thoughts that were on my mind. So that's what this episode's about. Today, my friends, we are going to get to the bottom of what AI means for music in general and for the music industry, because if we think about it, AI can only do things and replicate stuff so far that's been kind of done, and it's just doing it again. And if you look at somebody like Howard Benson that sold between what, 30, 60 million albums or whatever, he's a big part of that catalog for rock and heavy music, right? So he would be somebody that is actually helping feed AI to do what it's gonna do. So I thought it made a lot of sense to ask him and we're gonna get into that right now. So I guess, Howard, what are your thoughts on AI and using it to write music? So uh, the AI thing has been brought up a lot to me. I'm not that worried about it. Uh, I think that inspiration is still going to be a human thing and feelings are still a human thing. I might be proven wrong, but at least in my lifetime, it's not gonna affect me that much. What it does do though, which I love, is that if you have an idea, a chorus hook for a song and you need to get off the, you need to get off home plate, you need to get to first base, get you to first base pretty well. You gotta say, you know, you type in a song called like, you know, um, Love is Blind, write me a song called Love is Blind for a metal track, it'll write you a pretty good starting point, you know? And then from there you edit it. But that's kind of like anything else, a preset does that for you. It starts you somewhere and then you go from there, you know, if you want to. Or you can use the AI, but it's not gonna be that great, you know? So I say it's a tool, it's another tool in the toolbox that we've got to use. So. I think it's great. I don't have any problem with it. Okay, now what do you think about AI voice cloning? So when it comes to the mimicking of voices and that whole thing, this is what I think about it. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, it's I get it and all that. And yeah, it sounds like that person. But if it's not endorsed by the artist, people find out about that eventually and it starts to smell. So I'm not gonna buy a song, and I know that my kids aren't gonna buy a song, that sounds like Linkin Park if it's not really Linkin Park. It doesn't have, I mean, your attachment to that song is because you're attached to the artist. Yeah, the vocal sounds like them, but is it really them? I mean, I don't know, but I think that's uh, a pretty big part of it. Like if it's not endorsed by the artist, by the way, if the artist does it, it's one thing, but if the artist doesn't do it, I don't know. All right, I I'm with you so far. Uh, what are your thoughts about using AI to create album art? So I think with AI, I was reading like um, that the New York Times and some of the other um, newspapers and writers are now scanning articles to see how much of the articles are theirs and then like suing for copyright infringement and all that stuff. I think that's actually the right thing to do because it is theirs. And the, the technology will always be followed by a way to monetize what is originally somebody's art. And I think with graphics, you're gonna see at some point, maybe it's not there yet, Somebody makes a graphic and they use somebody else's graphic, a program will be developed that will be able to tell it's somebody else's graphic. You're already seeing this in schools right now. You ask an AI in the English class, did the AI write this paper? And the AI will tell you if it, that paper was written by an AI. So a lot of kids can't get away with that stuff anymore. So there's gonna be a whole business that's gonna grow up around what is really, you know, truly created by a human and what is really not. So um, I don't think those times are that far off, actually. I think that uh, people should be compensated for what they've done. By the way, it's happened to us in the music business. For a while, people were steering our music, and now we figured a way around it. It took us a while. But, you know, online streaming and uh, understanding how to monetize records, and that works for us now. This one makes a lot of sense to ask you because you have plugins with JST. Um, what are your thoughts about AI plugins? Okay, so the AI plugins that come out, it's a big like whatever for me. I still you still have to have a great song and you still have to have a great vocal performance. So, I mean, people have been doing stuff like this in different ways over the years. I mean, I don't see it any different than having the same mixer mix your record that mixed the last record by somebody else. I mean, so what? You know, if you don't have great songs, I don't care what you do. If it's not compelling, people are just not going to buy it. 
It's hard to get people to listen to music, by the way. It's not something they do automatically. You don't just go and start clicking on your song because it's you. They have to have a reason to do it. So even if it's like a copy or something like that, if it's not compelling, I just don't find that there's going to be a reason to listen to it. So maybe it's too Pollyanna-ish of me, and it's also a very new, we're kind of in the tip of a very new technology that wasn't even there a year and a half ago. So I think we're all kind of guessing if you want to know the truth. So uh, look what happened to electric cars. Everybody thought everybody would be driving electric cars right now, and now the electric car business is in trouble. I own an electric car. I love it. But you're not going to convert the entire country right away. On the, It's just not going to happen. So I think a lot of what we think is going to happen, there's just too much chaos in the world to, to really know. Somebody joked to me and said, can you make a Howard Benson, uh, this is good or this is bad plugin? Like you put this song through it and it says yes or no, it lights up green or red. And I said, I don't care if it's me or an AI, it's never going to substitute for what people feel. And we can't predict that sometimes. Um, there's just, uh, it's too, there's how many people in the world? Seven billion people. Everybody has their own movie going on in their head. So to think that we'll all be able to like connect on that level with everything all at once, not, it's just not, it's not feasible. So I don't think that's ever gonna work. I'm Howard Benson and that's my thoughts about AI. Um, and I'll make a disclaimer, it's a very evolving technology that probably half of what I'm thinking is just a best guess. So um, there you go. Howard, I want to thank you so much for answering all those questions. They're things that have been kind of burning in my mind, and I'm sure a lot of people that are watching right now have had the same thoughts that I've had. If you guys have any other questions that you would want me to ask Howard throughout this month, considering we'll be doing a lot of celebrating of him, uh, make sure to leave it in the comments below, and we'll continue to chat with you fine people like we always do.